Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading for mid-August 2021. This is a general reading that is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you and the roles can be reversed. If this doesn't resonate with you, if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's signs. Or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, Gemini, let's see. What is the overall energy for you for the second half of August? All right, and we have self-worth. All right, okay, so um, this could be you. This could be another person that you are dealing with. Somebody is really focusing on their own self-worth. And usually when we do that, that also means that we start... Um, Expecting to have things that we deserve, number one, and also not allowing things into our lives that we are not worthy of or that are not worthy of us. Okay, so let's get into this and see. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of August. We're gonna be looking at your energy and your person's energy separately, as well as messages for you. All right, so for you, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. All right. So there's movement here on your end. Um, I feel like you're picking up the pace when it comes to really relieving yourself of certain responsibilities that possibly were not yours to carry. All right. Um, this is leading you to, from getting on the right path, but taking your time in realizing this towards picking up that pace and actually taking action a lot more quickly. Kind of like, okay, you know what, I'm done. That responsibility, whatever that is, or a heavy burden that was on me, like I'm ready to let that go and do something about this. For them, we have the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody who... At the moment, I feel is feeling a little bit of disappointment or is not happy in a situation, but they're ready to really make a decision and feeling very determined when it comes to following their passion. So we'll see what that's about. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see the message for you here. We have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So it feels like there's definitely some kind of an offer that is coming in, possibly from the past. I do get a bit of, there's a little bit of regret or some grief attached to this offer. So I don't know what this could be. It could be a number of things for, for a lot of you, but I feel like basically this is something that you shouldn't rush when it comes to deciding what you want to do about this offer. Okay, that's the message I'm getting here, but again, we're gonna clarify and get more specific. So let's see. Let's clarify that 10 of wands for your energy. <clears throat> All right, we have the high priestess, the five of cups and the ace of pentacles. All right, so whatever burden this is that you've been carrying or whatever responsibility you've been feeling that possibly just wasn't even yours, you know, whether this was trying to help somebody or um, just being a people pleaser or just going along with somebody else's flow, I feel like intuitively you knew that this was something that just wasn't good for you. This is something that was creating a lot of um, pain for you and it actually has either made you feel like, you know what, like there is some regret with this, or it just didn't lead to anything. And I feel like intuitively you know that now, that 
releasing the sense of responsibility either for someone else's life or carrying your own responsibility but in a way where it may have been misguided. I feel like this is what you are trying to change now and you're finding practical solutions to move in a new direction and this actually requires releasing something from the past, something that um, maybe a behavior from the past, maybe an attitude from the past, maybe even a person, the, the situation itself. All right, it could be anything. I feel like you're really ready here to move in a new direction in a more practical way that is going to be more serving for you and more in alignment with your higher self. Let's see that Knight of Swords. All right, the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So yeah, I mean, two pages here. I feel like this is really all about you, number one, communicating this. So I feel like you feel like you really want to, if it's not exactly communicating, like verbally expressing it, you just want to express this in some way. And I feel like this is leading you on a new path. And this is because you feel like you have healed something from your past. And again, I feel like you've been on the right path possibly for a while now, but it was just moving very, very gradually for you. You were just taking very gradual steps. And like I said, it's like now having this realization where it's like, no, you know, I have to completely release whatever this burden was, all right, that was holding you back, whatever that was from your past. That is now coming in with a lot of healing. And this is why you are now ready to pick up that pace and move a little bit more quickly. And it's like you're moving into like a whole new world here, like a whole new perspective when it comes to understanding more how it is that you, how you feel and what it is that you feel like you are being driven towards. So even from a more spiritual perspective, where, what is it that you really feel like, you know, your, your higher self is saying yes, you know, what is it that it is pushing you towards? And this is all, it's feeling new, it's like a new path. And it's based in truth, and it comes again from a place of having healed from within both your emotions, knowing that you're still possibly open um, to this connection for some of you, and also feeling a sense of... I don't know how to explain this. It's like a sense of excitement. Even if it's not exactly what you would want, it's like you're still excited about the newness of how you are feeling and how you are coping with this. And I feel like that comes with a, a newfound sense of self-worth. So even if this is, for some of you, um, releasing a situation, even though that does cause some pain, it does cause a sense of loss and grief, there is still a sense of feeling like, you know, you are on the right path here, feeling like you are healed, feeling more harmonious. And just, like I said, uh, it's not excitement exactly. It's, it's hard for me to really pinpoint the word that I'm looking for right now, but it's something along those lines, even if it does come with pain. Just feeling like you're doing the right thing here. All right, let's see for your person. Let's see the Ace of Wands. And I mean, sometimes it's not necessarily your person, but this could be a person attached to you or any person involved in the situation. So we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Three of Cups. I feel like whoever this is, this person is also... Um, also working on their self-worth or their sense of self-worth is also increasing. This person is somebody who is feeling very confident, very assertive at the moment and wanting to bring, bring something back, back to life. Um, for some of you, could be dealing with a fire sign, um, possibly another air sign as well. Let's get some more information here. Let's see the King of Swords. We have 
Lovers and the Six of Cups. Wow. This person here, whoever this is, is really determined to have love into their life. Um, I feel like there is a major decision that this person wants to make, and I do feel that it um, involves a coming back together um, with somebody from their past. Okay, so maybe that is you. And I feel like for most of you, this will be you. I'm just, you know, there's probably just a couple of cases or some situations where it might be another person here. Um, but somebody is definitely wanting this connection and feeling very determined to make it happen. There's a lot of, I see a lot of nostalgia, a lot of just wanting a union, a reunion actually, all right? Especially with the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Wands. This is all about a reconnecting and bringing something back to life from the past. So whoever this is, I don't see them um, hesitating. I don't see them stopping. I see them really wanting to do this. However, there's also a sense of disappointment here. So let's see what that is about. So Four of Cups. Ooh, the Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Seven of Pentacles. This person is um, currently in a situation where they're not feeling very happy. Their Ten of Cups is missing because I feel like they're feeling like that is you. So this person is feeling a sense of either disappointment or possibly feeling a little bit ignored from you, maybe because you are on this path that you are on. Um, even though for some of you, I do feel like the path that you are on is, is taking you towards this person. For some of you, not all of you. All right, for others of you, it is completely releasing the situation. Either way, it doesn't matter. This person is still feeling some sense of a... Um, almost like being, being ignored being ignored not having what it is that they that they want and feeling like you know they have to wait I feel like this person is taking steps like I said they're very determined they really want this connection um, very badly actually And I, it, it's almost coming in as, you know, they're not sure if they're actually going to get it, even though they're, de they're determined to, to have it. But there's this sense of possibly having tried in the past or they weren't able to have it in the way that they wanted in the past. And so they're kind of waiting to see what it is that might happen here, waiting to see what the result of this is, wishing um, but at the moment, not feeling, not feeling very satisfied, either with their own behavior or just with the situation uh, in the way that it is. So really don't know who, who that is to you. So let's see the message. Let's see the Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups, yeah, somebody is definitely coming in here, um, opening up their emotions, expressing their emotions, um, really trying to reconnect here or to connect with you. Like, again, I feel like it's somebody from the past. It doesn't have to be, but this is just the way that it is coming in unless this is two separate um, situations here. Let me see the Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So yeah, somebody is coming in from, possibly from the past here, all right? Um, expressing their emotions to you, but I feel like this person, they're still holding on to some grief from the past. Um, things are still feeling a little bit disappointing to them, or they're just feeling a loss, or they're feeling some pain, they're feeling some sadness, possibly also some regret. And I feel like this is something that is very difficult um, for them to release. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like you you are on your way to really um, just feeling a, a new sense of yourself. I feel like this is you having found this self-worth, and you don't want anything that is not deserving of you. So I do get the sense that here, you know, you might be 
It could be that you're holding on a little bit to the past here of what may have happened with this person and this might be kind of um, making you want to wait. And I feel like actually this is the guidance here. Let's see the Three of Wands. Ooh, we have the Hermit and we have the Tower. All right, so Virgo energy showing up here. Um, we also have Aquarius showing up. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, there is something that still needs to happen here, something big, something needs to blow up. And so I feel like for you, you know, possibly what you might also be feeling intuitively is that, yes, you know, even though you're moving quickly, towards your own sense of self-worth and towards your own healing and on taking a new path when it comes to how you handle this situation, I feel like there's this energy of you knowing that you shouldn't rush when it comes to this connection though, whatever it is that comes in, because there's still something that needs to be resolved from the past. And so this is all about, you know what, don't rush. If you rush, you know, then things might not turn out as, as you expect them to in a positive way. So I feel like the message here for you is don't rush <laughs> when it comes to this connection. Um, when it comes in, yes, this person is determined, but something still needs to happen. There is a big shift that is coming and I feel like that needs to happen. So just take your time with this. Make sure you are sticking to your beliefs and your newfound sense of self-worth and don't betray that. All right, Gemini, let's see. <clears throat> Final message for Gemini, if this resonated. We also have you showing up here with this person being determined um, <clears throat> for Gemini. Forgot to mention that before. All right, so... Final message for you is the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. I feel like, yeah, you know, this, I, I do see love here and I do feel like this love is coming in. So somebody is really feeling determined to bring love into the situation. So I feel like that is the message for you. Um, also to keep in mind that, you know, no matter what it is that is happening, always remember to um, stay in a love vibration, you know, bring love into this situation. But bringing love into the situation doesn't mean to just accepting anything. All right, if something is not ready, it's not ready. If there's still a tower that needs to come down, you know, that tower needs to come down. But you can still um, maintain an energy of love throughout this process in this situation. And that might actually um, help out the situation in whatever way. So those are your messages, Gemini. I thank you so much for watching and much love.